Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and today is Wednesday, August 19th, 2020, and it is 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're here doing a live chat, so if you're watching this at any other time, just know that you're watching an upload that was recorded earlier. That means that we're not in the chat comments. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to wait a couple of minutes for people to come in. I've been sitting here for a few minutes trying to get a couple of seams sewed. So every minute of sewing counts. So while we wait for 7 p.m., I'm just gonna go ahead and press these pieces here. I don't even know if I have my nope <laughs> notifications off I was just <laughs> about to say that and they're coming through I think my volume is down yes so we're gonna go up to the top let me get my cord out of the wheel of my chair. <laughs> uh, let's see. Had Vivian Calvi here, 632, says hi, T and everyone. I don't know if she's still here, but hi, Vivian. Susan T is here, says hi, T and everyone. Just had Zoom quilt show meeting for our canceled May 2020 show, now rescheduled for May 2022. Saying my prayers, yes. <laughs> Uh, Maddie Barnum is here, says hi, T and everyone. I am early. And Lisa Pegg is here. So sorry you had to wait so long. I'm betting a lot of others are too. She's talking to um, Susan about the quilt show. Mario Dennis says hello to everyone. Um, Elaine Doucette's here, says hello. Maria Mayer says hi T and everyone. Diane 57 is here saying hi T and quilting friends. So I think unless I'm missing somebody let me go out and come back in because you know how my phone operates up in here sometimes. Y'all already know. <laughs> I knew it was going to be more so let me go Diane 57. So we got Cheryl Clute. She says, hello, T and everyone. Have Robin Boyd saying, hello, Miss T and all. Lisa says, Miss T and everybody. T, you know you don't get much sewing done here. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get those two minutes in, girl. Uh, Helen Thomas says, good evening, Miss T and quilt family. Regina Connor is here, says, hi, T and fellow quilters. Uh, I'm glad Regina's here. So hold around for a few minutes before you leave, girl. Gramp says, thank God for the Accu Quilt. <laughs> he must have got one. <laughs> See, I don't mind wasting some fabric if I'm going to cut as fast as I can cut with that Accu Quilt. And then all my dog ears are trimmed. All my angles are correct. All my lining up spots are there for me. So it's all in what you got. I got so much fabric around here that wasting some fabric as i'm cutting is not a big deal to me and it's not it's not even a whole lot of waste fabric because it's just scraps i'm using from a bag because i'm still scrap quilting so i'm not even using yardage so that but that is funny i love that <laughs> diane rick says hello everyone robin boyd says diane i was trying to find the art quilt lady lee bryan says hello tnt quilters susan martin says hello miss t and everyone 
Wednesday's blessings from Claremont, Florida. Uh, Wanda J is here, says hello, ladies. Quilting for the Soul says hello, T and everyone. Um, Helen's reminding everybody to hit the thumbs up. Thank you so much, Helen. I appreciate that. Cynthia Shade is here. She says good evening to all. Hope all T quilters are doing well. Hi, Cynthia. Vicki Lamira saying hello. Tiffany's Quilting Life is here. She says hello, T and friends. Got some pretty hearts following it. Ellie Scrapper says greetings, T and everyone. Cookie Falcon says hi, T. I love the quilt behind you. What is the name of the block? It is a pineapple quilt. It was die cut on the Accu quilt. The first quilt that I did, I've been sewing pineapple blocks since pan since the pandemic for the most part. I've made a, other quilts. I made like three other quilts from scratch, but no, I think it includes that one. So three including that one from scratch, but I've quilted a whole lot. But this one is the first one that started our Saturday night sewing chat. So I'm sewing pineapple blocks. Uh, let's see. And Vivian said, yes, I am still here. That's funny. She was the first commenter. She's letting you know I'm still in the house. <laughs> um, um, Quilting for the Soul says hello, T and everyone. I've lost my spot. <laughs> I think I said that because we got Tiffany. Um, so Kelly A, that's where I'm at. Oh, Patricia Bryan is also telling people to hit the thumbs up as well. So thank you so much to Patricia. I got stuff happening over here. I think some people are getting in the T Quilts Facebook group. Um, Kelly says, greetings. Miss T and Quilting Friends has a heart behind hers as well. Thank you so much, Kelly. Sharon Lewis is here, says, Hi, T from Washington, D.C. Still working on my disappearing four patch. Awesome. Uh, Winfred Baptiste is here, says, Hi, T and everyone. Good night. Robin Boyd says, We love you even with the crazy phone. <laughs> Deborah just here, says, Hello, T and all. Tucker Sewing and Quilting is here, says, hey, T and everyone, hope we are all well. Diane says, you don't really waste that much. Not, not in the essence, because you're going to waste some fabric squaring up anyway, so not, not for real, for real, but I love my time. Graham says, I was trying to cut 100 blocks. Where did I get that number from? <laughs> I'm trying to make 100 of these pineapple blocks. I got my um, Trying to make 100 of these I'm at um, 68 I think last time we were on I had No, I'm I'm at 60 last time we were on I was at 48. I made 12 blocks uh, Since the last sew-in on Saturday. I got those 12 blocks done and um, I'm at 60, and now I'm working on another set of eight. So that's where I'm getting my 68. <laughs> uh, Debbie Williams is here saying hello. Cheryl Bean says hi, T and everyone. Uh, Nisi Moss here says hey, T and everybody. Got clapping. <laughs> uh, T is exploding pineapple blocks you got that right <laughs> i'm actually the reason why i'm doing so many different kind is that i'm trying to since we're in a pandemic i always tend to like throw out a lecture every other year or so a new lecture and i think this time i'm going to do a pineapple quilt lecture but it won't be all traditional but i'm just starting with the traditional because it's going to be the hardest as far as number of pieces need to be sold uh, these blocks uh, take 37 pieces in these blocks. So it's a lot of sewing. So I figured this was this is a great project to do during my downtime. So that's why I'm doing a whole lot of pineapple blocks now. Um, thank you, thank you. Just bought some AccuQuilt products. I hope you use my link, girl. <laughs> and thinking of my AccuQuilt link, I do want to thank you all. I've noticed uh, from my Facebook links as well as a few from my YouTube links have been buying AccuQuilt products through my links. 
and I am trying to decide what AccuQuilt product I want to buy so I can do demo for you all. So if you all got that have AccuQuilt, got some dyes you might be interested in me doing a sew along with. Um, if, if I don't have it, I will purchase it. So drop some comments in here. Let me know. So I can, I'll write a few of them down and then I'll see what, um, what I can come up with. I know they've got a free Cleopatra that's coming up on 822. Uh, if you spend $250, they'll send you that die free. I do want to sew that. I have never sewn that block, have never even seen that block. So I'm just interested in sewing that and I'll probably just start with some scraps just to see how I like uh, the feel of it before I commit to a full quilt maybe I'll just do a little small wall hanging or something like that uh, I can't even remember the block size on the Cleopatra but I was thinking about placing an order on the 22nd for some AccuQuilt products I try to when I receive money from a particular source I try to put that money back into uh, that source so that I can get something to teach you all something else or we can do a sew along or something like that because just die cutting is not every time teaching something but um, if you all got some things you want to work on with your AccuQuilt stuff let me know uh, Janet Mackerel is here saying good evening to all Claudette Bettis is here hey Claudette <laughs> she says hey T and everyone uh, she doesn't get to be with us every week because she does her charity work so Joanne, her volunteer work, not charity, volunteer work. Uh, Joanne Parker is here, says, good evening, everyone. I pray you all are well. Maddie Barnum says, your block is pretty, T. Thank you so much, Maddie. Robin Boyd, her name is Deb Johnson. Her group is Our Time to Quilt. Hello, T and Quilting Friends. That's from Teresa Louise, I Quilt too. Uh, Mary is here, says, hi, all. Eating supper, be right back. <laughs> Marcia, uh, Marcia says, hi, T and everyone. I made it almost on tonight. Welcome. Uh, let's see. And Eric's here tomorrow. I forgot it's Wednesday. <laughs> He's been on time the last few weeks. Um, Tucker is telling Teresa uh, Louise that I love uh, your newest Longhorn video. Also, they have the same machine, so that's pretty cool. Judy, uh, Linda Griffin is saying hi, all. Judy Smith says hi, T, and everyone. Trying to go through some of the highs to Eric and, you know. <laughs> Ellie says, T, I missed the live chat. I didn't get the invoice for $51 for the sunrise set. I do have it here. I've emailed you a couple of times. Uh, I don't know where the emails are going, but I, I still have it. I was going to ask tonight if anybody wanted to buy it because it's, I only have that set and the cherry wood still available. But um, I thought your email started with something with Hampton if it's not uh, maybe I'm using the wrong email address but that's what I have for you so I've been the e the invoice has been sitting on PayPal so maybe it's going to the wrong person um let's see Jada Smith is here she says hi TNT quilters hope all is well this is Earlene hi Earlene welcome uh let's see Lacanti Middleton says good evening and we've got Judy Judy saying hello everyone and then Tiffany is reminding people hello everyone join it don't forget to give a thumbs up and now we're gonna just go ahead while we've got everybody on here just do channel shout outs we've got Tiffany Quilton Life has channel uh, Ellen Campbell's not here she has a channel Teresa Louise I quilt too has a channel uh, Tucker sewing and quilting I think hold on let me get it right yes sewing and quilting also has a channel some of the channels you may want to check out that comes into T quilts live chat on a regular basis um, 
And that's it. Oh, and then I do want to read one thing I did hear from Cliff about Shari, and he sent me an email that I can read. And then I'll also send it to Tiffany so she can put her channel as well. This came in yesterday, I think, but I just saw it today. Um, sometimes when I'm doing a lot of desk work, I don't get a chance to... I don't get to all areas of social media. It's like I'm, I got dings everywhere when I finally pick up my phone. And then I don't use my phone all day because if I carry my phone in here every ding, I wouldn't get my quilting done, wouldn't get my desk work done, wouldn't get all the other stuff done. So I tend to, when I work on one thing at a time, I tend to stay with that one thing. Um, my family already know that, so that's why they'll call me on my house phone. <laughs> They say she's not going to answer the cell. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, it starts off, Miss T. Hello, I'm sorry for my delay in updating you. So much has been going on. First, I'm really not sure how much Shari has shared with you. So please allow me to take a couple step backs. In 1999, Shari was diagnosed with primary progressive MS, multiple sclerosis. Unfortunately, many of the MS symptoms mimic other emergency medical issues in which are also very dangerous, like a stroke and heart attack. Just prior to the coronavirus, basically taking over the world, in late January, Shari was rushed by ambulance to the hospital while having these chest pains, which were stronger than she had ever experienced. From the start, she was blaming these pains on MS, and they called them bear hugs. Apparently, when you have MS, Tiffany here can probably tell you a lot more about it. Uh, when you have pains in your chest area, that's what they feel like somebody giving you a bear hug. So that's why they have that name. Although the pain which Shari was experiencing at this time was directly associated with MS, unfortunately, the intensity of this pain wasn't a far stretch from the actual heart attack. The pain level, the sharpness wasn't far from actual pain from a true heart attack. The pain level was high. The only difference was there wasn't the sharp down the left arm. Hold on. Wasn't there. So pain, when you have a heart attack, pain goes down your left arm. That part was not there, which is why Shari and I were hesitating going to the hospital. The major difference with MS is a true heart attack is the MS pain feels like a sharp and tight pain around your chest. The pain has a different intensity of the sharpness and the pain doesn't travel down the left arm. Unfortunately, that is not the only single sign between a true heart attack and the MS exacerbate. When her blood pressure jumped high out of a precaution, Shari and I decided she needed to go to the hospital. She was originally convinced that there wasn't anything to really be worried about. After numerous tests, we learned she was having a mild heart attack and she has had several of them. In addition with the chest pain, which originally we related to MS, that we called bear hugs. One of the tests was done showed an area in her of her left heart, which also showed the area that was truly struggling. Several other tests were completed and confirmed our concerns. Our major concern was that when the myelin sheath is damaged, nerves do not conduct electrical impulses normally. Sometimes the nerve fibers are so damaged, if the sheath is able to repair and regenerate itself, normal nerve function may return. However, if the sheath is severely damaged, the underlying nerve fiber can die. Note, due to me not feeling comfortable saying this, so you all would understand what I'm saying, uh, he copied from the paperwork the doctors had given him. So this is from Cliff, remember that. And then at the end he says, there are new promising minor surgeries that can help, which have been performed, which is why Shari is in CCU. She will stay for 14 to 21 days. I'll follow up with details soon. Please forward to Tiffany quilting. And then he also has Sobeka per Katrina. I don't, Tiffany, if you can give to Sobeka, because I don't know, I don't follow her because I'm trying not to follow a whole lot of the especially the bigger YouTubers. I try not to stay on their channels. So if you could forward to her, it would be great. But I'll forward to you in um, just a minute. And I think that's all. He's got some other stuff down here he's saying about, like, people trying to contact them and stuff that 
you've got a forward to email it can be sent to him um but i think maybe if people are concerned maybe just sending it to me at tiffany and then we can forward that information to them if you want to go any further because i don't feel comfortable just putting out their email address because this this is a live chat now but it's also going to go um out into the world once it gets uh, uploaded and anybody can watch it at any time so i will make sure that i get this email sent to forward it to uh tiffany and uh i don't know if it will even let me, i don't know if i've got tiffany's email i mostly talk to tiffany and messenger but let me see if i can forward this right now because y'all know how teal want to work <laughs> No, yeah, I do have it. Okay. Please share with Becca. So, Becca. Okay. So, that part's done. Because y'all know I forget to do stuff. Tiff, I'll be sitting over there just waiting. <laughs> but so just constantly keep people in prayer. More than two people standing on the same thing. Uh, God will bless that union. I've already prayed for them. I believe that he has answered my prayer for Cliff and his family, for Shari and Katrina. And um, it's just hard right now because they don't know the circumstances. And, of course, Katrina depends on her sister Shari. So we need um, to just uplift them in prayers, make sure that they are accounted for and God knows who they are. So uh, just thank you, Cliff, for keeping us updated because since she's told us that she was rushed to the hospital, I have been just concerned about Shari. So appreciate everything. And thanks again for the follow-up. And it looks like, you know, she seems to be resting more comfortably this week than she was last time we got an update. So that's a positive, too. So let me go back. I'm sure this thing is not going to give me every comment. And, of course, I'm not going to remember where I left off. I think it was a Tiffany saying give a up. We've got... Um, you're welcome, Teresa. She's saying thanks for the channel shout outs. C Rex is here saying hello, quilters. And um, Teresa McCormick says hello to you and everyone from Wisconsin. And Tiffany is also saying, yep, I've had it. It's the MS hug. That's what I've led to find out. I had valley fever, was the feeling of dying. Oh my gosh. Ellie says, I've been looking but haven't seen it. She's talking about the thing. Okay, so I didn't know you were looking at Cash App. If you're uh, looking through Cash App, you can just cash. I thought that's what you were going to do before was Cash App me, so that's why I sent you the invoice just in case. But if you want to do Cash App, that's fine. It's just a dollar sign T quilt, and then I can get that in the mail for you. I can do it tomorrow, get it into the mail. I got some other stuff I got to mail tomorrow. And then Diane is also saying that heart issues also goes to the left jaw. Um, Teresa says women very often do not have arm pain when having a heart attack. That seems more prevalent in men. Uh, Sonia Johnson is here saying hi, everybody. Doris O says good evening, everyone. Hope everyone is having a great day. Ellen Campbell is here, says hello to you and quilting friends. Um, quilting for the Soul has a channel as well. I forgot that one. So sorry about that. So please make sure that you all visit her channel as well. If you're looking for things to watch, quilting related, sorry about that. <laughs> Not intentional. Miss Sarah, your quilt is beautiful. Uh, telling uh, quilting for the soul is Sarah. She's telling her that it's beautiful. Um. Uh, Tiffany saying MS is no joke and secondary issues make it so much harder so much that I know all too well I have prayers sent. Thank you, Tiffany. June Hansen is here saying hi, Miss T and everyone. 
Teresa McCormick uh, is talking to Diane. I'm just going to pass. Jackie K is here saying hello, T and Quilters. Late joining. Was out having ice cream. Prayers that all are well. Thank you so much, Jackie. Okay, Larissa, I see your comment. And Sarah saying it's okay. Thank you, T. I'm just sorry. I, I, <laughs> I was trying to get them all in there and still missed one. I am so sorry. Uh, Kelly A says Robin has a channel. Is Juarez Islands Craft? Is that Robin Boyd? I didn't get the last name. Is that Robin Boyd? I'm so used to seeing RS Island Crafts in here. That's not the same person, is it? Is Robin uh, last name Boyd? I need to know that now. <laughs> did anyone watch AccuQuilts unveiling tonight? I did not. I know they were coming out with some blocks on board, some new ones. But I haven't gotten there yet. Nope. So Robin Boy says, nope, I didn't think so. So who is Robin? Is Robin in my chat room, people? I'm shouting out people that are in my chat room. Thank you, Kelly. Um, that's what I'm trying to support. I'm not supporting channels that are not in my chat room. I know there are a lot of YouTube channels out there, so... Teresa Jugowitz says, I'm new and waving. Hi, Teresa. Welcome to the live chat. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bells. But we do go live on Wednesdays. And since the pandemic, I have been going live on Saturdays as well at 7 p.m. No, 9 p.m. on Saturday, Central Standard Time. Wednesdays is 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then we also have decided we're going to have a Zoom meeting where we can do a sew-in on Sundays starting at 8 p.m. for a couple hours on Sundays. The next one is on August 23rd. That's this Saturday coming up. <laughs> no, this Sunday coming up. <laughs> Sunday, August 23rd at 8 p.m. Make sure I get that right. Um... Suzette Washington is here. Say hi, y'all. New subby. Thank you so much, Suzette. Appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Uh, and Tiffany is also, she's she's got that moderator wrench <laughs> and she's out there working. Thank you, Tiffany. She says, welcome to T's chat. To all those joining, my brother is also here. He says, hey, sis, I'm here. Hi, everyone. Hope everyone stays safe in the yard. And Susan T is welcoming new members. And that's one of the reasons I do like uh, the chats. You all that are in my room tend to, a lot of you all are in Tiffany's room or in Teresa's room. And it's just this warm family that you all have created on the internet. Just a great group of quilters. So we all appreciate you guys. Let's see. William McCarthy says, I'm new to your channel from Fasto, California via Montgomery, Alabama. Fasto. So welcome to the channel as well. Appreciate you coming in here. Uh, on Wednesdays, I mostly do some kind of a chat. I don't, I'm just doing an hour on Wednesdays. On Saturday, I do two hours. I do a sewing chat. Um, so I don't really have a whole lot on my agenda, but I do go through mail that has come in. And so we'll do that next. I don't have a whole lot of stuff that came in, but what I do want to talk about is something that I forgot to show you all earlier. And I'm not sure if this card go with this or not. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> she says, to Tijuana, happy birthday, blessings. Enclosed is a check for your services. You know, I just finished quilting Regina's quilt. It will be in my August completed projects. I haven't even uploaded July's completed projects video yet, but it's coming. She says, uh, since you like churn dash blocks, I hope you enjoy the one I sent you, blessings and peace, Regina Connor. So when she sent this with her quilt top, I was so happy and so in love with her quilt top. She had that log cabin sampler kind of quilt top that, um, yeah, I forgot all about that I had the bag that I still had the note, the card, and all of that stuff in there. She had the check in there. But I was so concerned about showing you all how pretty that quilt was. But here is her churn dash block. It's very pretty. It's 12-inch block. 
and I'm going to write Regina's name in here, her city and state, and I'm going to add this when I get ready to do my churn dash um, quilt top where you all sent me blocks last year for my birthday. I just haven't gone to a retreat this year to get it together because I thought I was going to have it in our quilt show next year. So you all got, I got, I'm just going to guess and say somewhere close to 50 blocks. I'm not sure what that number is. So I got quite a few blocks and I need to lay them out because they're all different sizes so I can know how I'm going to put it together. Either that or I need to at least sort the blocks uh, by size and see what sizes you all have given me and maybe start from that. But I haven't had a chance to play with these a lot. Every time I go out on my deck, it seems like it's a steel deck. As soon as I lay out two or three fabric blocks, they all start flying out into my yard. So... I just uh, haven't had a chance to work on that project, but I appreciate your block. It will be used, and I'm going to put your name on here. So thank you so much, Regina. Appreciate that. Your quilt's in the mail. Hoping that you love it when you get it. And also, I quilted a quilt for Terry Osborne. I'm not sure if she's a watch uh, on this channel. I know she was referred to me as a for quilting by Dee Dee Hansen. So... I got her quilt back into the mail today as well. It was the uh, quilt that I showed you all last week, that yellow and blue, uh, yellow brick road, similar to the quilt that I have hanging as my curtain up under this pineapple quilt. And then I got another card from Australia. I get so much support from Australia and Canada. I really appreciate you guys watching. I know it's expensive to mail to the USA, so anytime I get something from you all, I am really, really appreciative of it. And on the back up here, it says it's from Karen Notley. Uh, I, I kind of went across it. <laughs> right, Rydomir, I want to say Rydomir, Australia. But I could be reading that wrong because I tore the uh, packaging up. But she uh, has a nice card in here, right here. So pay attention to that. I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, she says, hi T, I wanted to write you and wish you a very happy birthday. I hope you had a wonderful day. I had a significant birthday in May. I had wanted to go away, but we were unable to do that. Instead, I took the week off work. It was so unbelievably good. I had such a great week. I bet you can guess what I did. <laughs> well, you probably can. Yes, I did. <laughs> she says, I had a wonderful few days getting projects ready for my long warm quilter. It felt so decadent. She says, last weekend I started the onerous task of tidying up my fabrics and sewing nook. It was long overdue. I still haven't finished. I am hoping to get some new sewing furniture. I would like to get a table I can stand to cut and base small quilts at. I also need a new sewing table because my newer and bigger machine really doesn't allow me to sit very comfortably at my existing table. Needless to say, I am busy researching to find a good solution. Wishing you all the best, Karen. And wishing you all the best too, Karen, on your reorganization, because I know it can be tedious. And then we start out saying we're going to do one little small area, and then it looks up, we've <laughs> discombobulated the entire room. So <laughs> keep, uh, uh, hopefully, you're doing really good with that. But she also included from this front of this card. She's got this kind of silkyish fabric. I'm not sure what this material is, but she sent me a fabric piece that matches this card. It is just so cute. Very, very pretty. And thank you so much. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I probably just put it on my design wall because it's so pretty and just look at it for a while. But thank you so much, Karen. Appreciate that. But um, very nice. This a great focus for a little small wall hanger, I think. Putting it in the wrong envelope. But yeah. So thank you so much. Appreciate that. And uh, for us, my week went. I have... Um, I sewed the blocks. <laughs> and then I did long arm quilting. And then been doing a lot of desk work. Uh, a lot of people, their orders went out, so I was getting back a lot of comments about uh, their stuff 
having arrived, but I also got comments from people whom stuff did not arrive, mostly the people that ordered late. And so they were kind of concerned about their order. So I was, you know, going back and making sure that people knew they needed to, you know, check their tracking or I was checking their tracking because they didn't know how to check their tracking. So I ended up spending a lot more time in my desk. I do have one person that appears that their package was stolen because it shows that it was uh, delivered. So I'm also uh, trying to work with that with UPS to see if they can do anything about it since I sent it priority mail because it was a large order. And uh, it may be some changes coming to orders where when you place orders for products that I don't own or I don't have in my possession, like these wooden presses and stilettos and you know the products that I get from this gentleman you know they're all custom made it's not like those items are sitting in my uh, supply area so in the future I may do uh, start charging for people to do signature confirmation and if people want to opt out of that that's fine but if you feel that your particular area will not allow large packages like a priority mailbox that's 16 by 13 to be outside your home i'm going to start sending packages with signature confirmation unless i hear otherwise that means that shipping is going to go up now also keep in mind that we've got issues happening with the postal service where they're even talking about raising prices starting in october so i hate to do that i hate to add that on top of rising cost of postage between October and Christmas but I don't see up any other way around it when I've got um, I'm a small business so I can't afford to eat a loss on a large purchase and so in order for me to I already do tracking on everything that I send because I want to make sure that it arrived if it's a pattern that I made myself and I'm sending it out to you and you tell me your pattern didn't arrive or your pattern uh, is in error, I don't mind sending back out stuff that's in my possession that I have control over. But when you're talking about items that come from somebody else and you put in a big order and you're telling me that the order isn't there, when I show it as being delivered, I can't afford as a small business person to eat that particular loss. So I, am, I put in a claim with the postal service I have never put in a claim. This has never happened to me before in all my years of doing business. So this is this is a new learning experience for me. It has taken me a lot of time out of my week because I had to learn how to do a lot of this stuff. I also went and researched what happens when you order through PayPal. And um, I advised the client, you know, various different things of ways that we can handle how to get this resolved because I don't want anybody to be unhappy with your encounter with T-Quilts. On the other hand, I can't take certain losses either when I've done everything in my power to ensure that I know that your package got delivered. I hand carried all of your packages to the post office. I stood in line and I let them check in every package. So I could have just put all those packages into the big uh, parcel box that they have. But I wanted to make sure that all of my stuff got checked in once it got to the uh, post office, not when they found time to do it, because it could have been the next day that they checked your items in. So I don't know how to handle this. If people have got suggestions, I'm more than willing and open to hear, because as I said, this is something that's new for me. But I'm just hoping, I hate to put cost onto somebody else, but if you're one of those people that... Um, you know, if it's something that is, that's tea quilts related, like t-shirts, patterns, any of the notions that I have in stock, like the strip sticks or the LED lights, you know, I don't mind going ahead and shipping that without a signature. I know sending stuff with signature is inconvenient for some people because we work or we don't want to go out in the public and, you know, the mail carriers don't even want to talk to you nowadays, so... But, you know, we have to do what we have to do to make sure that people get their packages now. And it's just sad that you've got people out here that are just thieves, just outright thieves. Uh, I've had, my niece works for the post office, so I know it was delivered because the geo-tracking they have, it's just like if you have the GPS on your phone, 
it shows that when they scan it what exact spot they're in and it's showing the correct address so uh, I just feel that it was taken I don't know to what capacity am I responsible she's responsible you know so I'm really open to suggestions on this so and as I said I want everybody to be happy with their experience at T quilt but I don't have that product laying around to even get it and He's going to have to even remake that order, even if it gets, if I get the claim through UPS paid. So we're just in a holding right now. So if anybody has any experience with lost packages, stolen packages, uh, if you would let me know, even through an email, if you don't want to let me know in chat, I would really, really appreciate it. So I can't remember where I left off because it's been a while since I've been over here. Um... Eric's talking about carrot cake. I know I didn't read that, so I'm going to go back higher. <laughs> um, I know we had some new members in, and that was the last thing I remember. Ellen Campbell is saying hello. Welcome to the new members. And Susan T. says, I always wonder what that wrench thing meant. Duh. <laughs> that is funny. Nita Henderson is here and says, I see lots of people I know. Exactly. Um... So I think that's it. I'm going to go down. Remo JS says, good evening, TNT quilters. I just finished making my aunt's famous carrot cake. So she's the culprit. <laughs> uh, and also saying, hit the thumbs up. So thank you so much. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to just skip some of the stuff where you all are talking to each other. We got Kim Barris here says, hello, TNT quilters. Let the shenanigans begin. Well, Eric's here. Kevin's flying, so I don't know if he's made it to his hotel room. Yesterday, he didn't get there until about 10 p.m. He was so tired when he finally called me. So we don't have that troublemaker. But we got Mary and we got Diane and Eric. <laughs> and sometimes Tiffany. Tiffany showed her colors last week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hi, Remo. You should have come here now and make me some carrot cake. Got that right. And Judy also saying that Churn Dash is her favorite block. Judy says, I have a niece in San Diego. I also worry about you people out there, y'all in the heat. And it's high yet. Yep. Ellie says, T, I will be doing videos and, and live soon from my new room once the internet service company get it right. I've been waiting a while, so with all get to see many different things I do. That's awesome. Congratulations on your channel. Carol Green's here saying hi, T and all. That's beautiful. Thank you. I think she's talking about the fabric piece or the either the quilt block or the fabric piece. Let's see. Most of the fires are out in the middle of nowhere right now, so that's good for California. Not that if it's going to be somewhere, just not in a neighborhood. <laughs> So I, I wish they didn't have fires at all, but I do understand it gets so dry in that area and also Phoenix area, Arizona too. So must be nice to not have it be in a neighborhood. And Eric says, wow, Opera House. That car is nice. Um, what a beautiful picture of the Opera House. Susan T, would you, I, Susan says, I would love to go to the Material Obsession, obsession Shop in Australia. Only thing, I would have to fly there. Exactly. <laughs> I got a few places in Australia I would like to go. Uh, Dolores Felt says, hi T, I purchased the wool mat you suggested. What tool did you use to cut it with? I have not used anything to cut it yet because <laughs> I was advised by my T quilters not to cut it, to use it um, full size when I go on like retreats and things like that. So I have just taken their advice. And I think it would be a great idea because it would prevent me sometimes from having to take my uh, big board and the ironing board that I have to use with the big board. So I am I have not cut it yet. It does not smell. I have not used it though But I need to put some heat on it to see if the smell went away afterwards And the funny thing is my friend's birthday isn't until October 
but I ordered her a wood press and I ordered her that mat and I'm just sick of seeing that box in my house so I actually took her yesterday her birthday present that's not until October okay so she'll just get a card in October <laughs> but um yeah so I haven't yet so I'm sorry I'm not any help Dolores and Diane is uh recommending uh, look for the that's to Karen Notley of Australia. She's looking for a table. She says look for a bar height table for cutting. I think she was looking for one for her sewing machine though. Uh, <laughs> Eric is talking to Diane fifty seven. He says, "Remember those days when it was just you and me chatting in here? Now look." I can barely keep up in the chat. <laughs> you got that right. It's a lot of conversations going on in this chat. Shirley Leon says, bed risers are a nice way to make a regular table taller. Cheap at Walmart, less than $10 in two sizes. That's also for... I think she was saying she got a new machine, and the new machines are so big. Like this machine, it looks big. It's about medium size when you start comparing it to the Elysimo. And then they've got... All those other newer baby locks, the journey and whatever else has come after it, those machines are huge when you put the embroidery arms on them. So I think the current desk that she has is not uh, holding her computer. I think that's what she's saying. Suzette Washington says, will you show us the pineapple from beginning, please? I have a video <laughs> that I did on a live where I showed how I cut and I also have on my Saturday videos where I'm actually showing um, I just did it not this Saturday but the Saturday before so uh, go back two Saturdays ago and you will see a video on where I show you how I cut on my AccuQuilt system and then I also have been sewing blocks the week before that because I done it with this quilt at the beginning if you go all the way back to april of 2020 it's a video with this it's called the pineapple accu quilt pineapple quilt and i show you how i mark my die i show you how i cut so there are numerous videos out there i'm actually in the middle of us uh making eight blocks at a time so this is where i'm at now on the blocks and there are so many different designs that you can make with this. So I have plenty of videos up there for you. And the nice thing about doing stuff in lives is that you get it at true time. So I don't do any cuts and speed ups and all of that kind of stuff. So you get to actually see the entire process. So let's see. Um, Susan T says we use the bed risers that I give for workshops for the cutting table works out great that's nice um, and I guess it would be great too if you were tying quilts to put them on bed risers at the guild meetings so and Eric talking about I tried using bed risers but I pushed so hard the table fell <laughs> Regina says, you're welcome, Miss T. Just thank you. It's such a pleasure. It's such a pretty block as well. So let's see. Um, Eric says, as Susan T, I'm confused. That's who I am. Uh, he also says, it's sad that people are taking making a career out of stealing packages. Yes, and that is really sad. And it's like, how far do they have to go for the average person to know somebody that sells? you've got to find a whole lot of people especially if it's somebody young that's out here still in packages most youngsters are not in their house sewing so it's just just terrible um let's see if it says it was delivered then it's on them this is from Teresa. She says, you should not have to send another, another or refund. It's sad and a bummer, but. And um, how much is your LED light kit? I think they're $35. 
um, for the light kits. That's uh, Nisi my asking. Ellen says, yes, how much is your LED light, day, LED light kit interested there? I think they're 35 They used to be 30 and then the price went up last time I ordered because, or the last two times I ordered because of the pandemic. I remember I had sold you all some before. Uh, at that time, I think I just ate the cost because I didn't know. But he had he did write me a nice note when I ordered after I ordered and told me that they had gone up. But I just like whatever you gotta do, man. <laughs> um, I understand stuff is going up, and um, it's just sad. See, my birthday is in December. That is from Diane. Thank you, Diane. <laughs> you want to give us the date? <laughs> We'll take a date. Seriously, we'll take a date for your birthday. That's Diane 57, by the way. Pamela Tabor is here. Hi, Pamela. She says, hi, Tan, everyone. I just made it. Um, we at 7.49 already. Time is flying when you're having fun. And Pamela saying, you folks are so welcoming. I love y'all. That's right. They are a nice group of quilters. Joanne Parker is here, says, T, how are the members of your guild doing? I miss seeing your show and tell events. I got to meet, like I went, uh, met with my friend. I actually went into her house. We just wore masks. She, I don't know why she wore masks. It was her house. But, you know, uh, people are, what I'm finding out is that people are going through difficult things during this pandemic. And because we are not seeing people, it's very difficult to reach out to somebody social media wise through emails because we don't since we're local here we don't really do like video chatting that type of thing just me and kevin but that's because kevin lives an hour to an hour and a half away from me that's why kevin and i video chat a lot but uh, most of my quilting friends live within 15 minutes of me 20 at the most the majority of them and so we see each other all the time. Even if we just happen to go to a quilt shop or something, we'll see them just hanging out. So I'm finding out that people are going through some things and you all might want to check up on your friends that you haven't seen just to see how things are going. Um, and they're, uh, you know, hiding, you know, not necessarily hiding, but concealing some things because they don't want to just drop something on a quick telephone call or something like that. So I got to see two of my friends. One was doing, two of my quilting friends. One of them was doing very well, had an injury uh, about a year ago and is progressing and able to walk without a walker, you know, had a fall and it was just really bad. So it was great to see how well she was doing. We ended up talking for an hour out on a parking lot. We were meeting so I could give her her needle case that she ordered. And uh, I didn't think I was going to be on a Captain D's parking lot for an hour, but I was. <laughs> uh, and then I went to my other friend's house. So I, you know, I'm, and I say that because I constantly check on some of the elderly in my quilt guild. I tell you all about my 90-year-old quilter. So I check on her. I also check on some other quilters in my guild that are up in age just to make sure or that I know are going through like somebody in their house is uh, seriously medically ill or have some medical conditions that require them to do uh, care for their family members. So I've just been calling throughout the pandemic, checking up on some of those type of people. But just check up on your friends, just call. Be prepared to just sit down and have a nice long chat. Don't be in a rush to go somewhere. You just never know when people are needing somebody to talk to. So if somebody is on your brain, <laughs> please go ahead and follow through and contact that person because you just never, never know. You think everything is fine and people are, you know, the pandemic has caused stress. Being inside for so long has caused stress. Um, stuff going on in the home can cause stress just because we've all been in homes with the, with people. We think we know these people, but when you're in, in the house with them for five, six months straight, you realize, I don't want to be in here with them anymore. So, so just check on your people. Make sure everybody is okay. And not necessarily just quilters, but your friends as well. You know, make sure everybody is okay. I... I think we were talking uh, when I was meeting these two quilters too because we just missed having that quilt show and tell time as well. So 
I appreciate your comment because I was sitting up here thinking today, you know, at the end of the year, I normally give you all a, a year long uh, video of the Scrap Quilting Club, all the projects that we make. And I only got January, I think we met in February. I may have February. So I think I only got two months that I can do video on for this year. I have a feeling that I'm not even considering opening up um, meeting with the Scrap Club until after March of next year. So I'm looking at April right now. I'm not really sure if we're going to even meet. It depends on how this winter goes. So if these numbers keep increasing, if things are still staying the same, I have no intentions of meeting inside of old buildings, especially when uh, this stuff is traveling through AC units. It's very difficult to wear a mask for six hours, eight hours. I can understand these people at work, how they have to wear these masks the entire time. That's real hard to do. So I don't want us to do that. So that's kind of where I am with the dilemma of my scrap club. And also while I'm thinking about scrap club, I noticed some people have been asking to join the scrap club Facebook group. That book, that group is only for the paid members of the T-Quilt Scrap Club is not an online club. It is an in-person club. And I just created that during the pandemic so that we had a way of sharing our projects that we're working on. So if you're not a paid member, you're not going to get in. And I've already invited all of the other members to be a part of the group. So uh, chance it to say that that's not the group you're going to get in. Um, Let's see. I saw a company that they talking about the table leg thing. Um, Christina Solis is here. Says hello from Waco, Texas. Welcome to my channel. Appreciate you stopping in. Um, they're still talking about how they use the bed risers. This is Nita. She's talking to Cordelia, so I'm going to skip it. And Tiffany is saying to all join in the live, don't forget to give T a thumbs up. Thank you, Tiffany. Um, Mary says pork medallions and scallop taters at Kim. They see how just different stuff comes out in this comment box. <laughs> okay, Diane says it's De December 18th. It's her birthday, okay? I'm going to write it down. Not that I'm going to have it later, but I'm going to write it down anyway. She is too funny. <laughs> Just out the blue. I'm going to put Diane 57. <laughs> we are so funny. Um, We may have to do a live on your birthday, girl. We're doing a live on Sunday night when we do the 8 p.m zoom meeting it is actually eric's birthday so eric's having a birthday party <laughs> and susan says what do they think is in those packages it should be really surprising and that's the sad part is that somebody that got it they're gonna have to really work to make sure that somebody that sells can use that package because i'm the only sewer on my street for sure i think in my neighborhood except that it's got to be like eight blocks away. I know one of the quilters in my guild lives by me. But it's like people don't sew nowadays. Not, not, not everyday people for the most part. It's a lot of people in the USA. So it's, we're spread very far apart. Um, it is so sad. Sandra Weston is here. Says hi to everyone. Welcome, Sandra. Cordelia says, I love Destin's, but I have lived in the Panhandle for years. So they just talking with other people. Uppity Bobbin say, hi, yes, it's tough to get with some people because they may have lots of things that make them susceptible to the virus. And you're absolutely correct. And that's why I don't mind meeting people outside and we still wear our mask and we're still doing the six feet apart thing. So, you know, you just keep adding on to your safety level so and some people if they can't get out then you just can't get out but my friend she was uh really needing somebody to talk to like i said we have been standing outside each other's home since march 
because she's visited me a couple times to drop things off. She's been the one saying, I just want to take a ride. I'll just come pick it up or I'll drop it off. And then this time I was meeting this other quilter. So I said, I'll just come to you and, and drop it off. And I was not even expecting to go in her house. But, you know, she really, really needed to talk. So we need to just make sure that everybody is okay. Um, my friend and I, we both worked in mental health. She's actually, I worked as a research analyst, so I handled all the data. So I understood all the clinical things very well. My friend was actually uh, MSN in mental health. And so she truly knows mental health very well. And she understands you know, what's kind of going on, and she's like, you know, she's getting therapy and stuff like that. So it's just a lot going on. And when you don't even realize that you're in depression or going through a, some kind of a loss, you're the ones that are really in trouble because you don't believe that mental health is an illness. Those that know mental health is an illness, they tend to go seek the help. It's those that don't even recognize what mental health is. Um, let's see. Mary saying good advice, T. Uh, I'm okay. I still want to talk with y'all. <laughs> uh, Kim says, I check on my friends. Just ask Tiffany. That's great. Um, Lisa says, you, you all know what color guard is? A patient told me a porch pirate took his when it was waiting for pickup. That person got quite a surprise. <laughs> uh, numbers are down at our hospital. We mandated to wear masks. We are mandated to wear masks in our state. And I'm glad that the numbers are down. Our numbers were pretty low in the state of Missouri overall. And they've been rising. They're not still high numbers. But the fact that they're rising. So a lot of us are just doing precaution. Kathleen here says, Kathleen Champ says, good evening, y'all. Hi, T, Diane, Nita, Mary, Kim, Quilting for the Soul, Vicki, Eric, Cordelia, Tiff, Lisa, Bobbin. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Betty Harris says, I know what you mean. My ex coworker son just took his life, was suffering from depression, and he was 20 years old. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. We don't want for somebody to be a surprise death to us because we didn't know that they were struggling just if you haven't heard from somebody that you normally hear from or you see or even just calling some of the people some of your elderly members at your quilt guild just call them and see how they're doing that's what i kind of do with my 90 year old quilter i still got i got two tops of hers that i haven't even quilted yet because she said she was in no rush they're like christmas gifts so i've been doing other stuff before i tend to if somebody tells me that it's really not something that they need, it's just going to sit for months, then if I don't, if I have stuff that I'm doing, I go ahead and sit it aside. But I called her anyway, even though I wasn't telling her that her stuff is ready. I call and just check on her because I want her to know that, you know, it's not just her family that's looking out for her because you don't know how often somebody's family is checking in on people. But I want her to know that, you know, you got friends out here that are concerned and want to make sure everything's okay or if you need anything. So, um, Winfrey says, it's very hard to keep on that mask for long hours. Yes. And I think medical staff or hospital staff, clinical staff, they've gotten used to wearing those masks. Because uh, I'm just saying, when I put it on and it's on while I'm grocery shopping, because that's the longest I ever have it on, it's my grocery runs. And I'm telling you, I'm about ready to get out of there and take it off, too. But I wait until I actually get the stuff loaded into my car and I get in my car. I do wait for that. But it's, you know, wearing a mask when you're not used to wearing it all the time can be a, a problem. So... Maria Mayer says, good, good night all, switching to the convention by Maria. I need to watch some of that too. Say hi, T fires really bad right now in CA, my son and family evacuating. So they are getting bad. Okay. So sorry about that, Nina. Um, just, I was just praying that they weren't at least in residential areas. I know it's still bad for our rainforest, for the trees and stuff, but just was hoping it wasn't in any neighborhood. So. T, will you show us the pineapple? I did, but I'll show it again. 
<laughs> this is just one block I'm working on right now. And then that's a whole pineapple quilt back there that I did. That's the first one I did. This is my second project. And then I also have a third one where I did Guileen Fitzgerald's method. And uh, I just have 48 blocks I made using her technique. So I do have um, uh, three projects going with the, well, one's completed and two more in the works. Mary says, my birthday is right after the election. So we will be ready, really happy or really sad. <laughs> that is Mary. Um, T, I saw you and gotten a Singer Quantum. Do you like that machine? The Singer Quantum is one of my older machines. Um, and I, I do like it. it was, I had the one that had like some onboard embroidery, but it wasn't an embroidery module. And I switched it out for the Singer XL1000. Uh, I have, I was sewing something really thick, like a denim rag quilt or just rag quilts in general where you've got all the thick material plus i had uh i don't think i had batting on the denim but i had batting on the flannel one and i knocked something out of timing on that and i've had it worked on numerous times my guy the new person that i use now the newer person since uh 2015 he's gotten it where it can work decent but it won't sew anything like super thick like if I had two pieces of felt or something, it's not going to sew that. So he's gotten it better, and we're constantly working on it. But I actually love the Singer Quantum. I love the Singer XL1000. That was one of my machines that I use for piecing and for machine quilting. I actually love them. And I've been getting a lot of questions about repair on sewing machines. I take my machines in. I do intensive cleaning myself. And if some, some thread is in my thread guide, in my tension area, tension disc areas, then I'll go in, I'll take my machine apart and get to that to get the thread out. But as far as repairs, I do take my machine in for repairs, so I'm not an expert on repairs. I'm just not afraid to take screws out and go in there and check them out. You know, I'll look at them, and then I take them to the shop with screws in a plastic bag and say, here, fix this. <laughs> And they just laugh. They look the first time they look at me like I grew a second head. Like, why did you take this machine apart? I was trying to fix it. <laughs> so yeah. But I'm not the um um and then she says, Do you like the machine? Is it's what I have. Didn't like thick threads for me unless I haven't found the right thread. I tend to use uh, just cone thread. I don't know. I've never had a problem with thick. I don't know what you mean by thick threads because machines aren't meant to take thick threads, especially through the um, the guides. Uh, machines are made to take just regular basic sewing thread. Uh, and I use Masterpiece uh, thread, 50 weight 3 ply, I think is what it is. And then I also use R Field 50 weight 2 ply. So that's what I use uh, for all my sewing machines. If you're using thread that's coated or invisible threads, those machines don't like it. I don't use invisible uh, thread on those machines. I don't, it didn't like metallic threads. It didn't like all those fancy threads. It would sew with rayon thread and regular sewing thread. And that was about it. Um. My birthday is March 1st, just in case. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Are we making a birthday list? I think we should somewhere start a birthday list. And then the first month, we give birthday shout outs. I really do. I really, really do. I would really love to do that. So I don't know if Mary's birthday is November 12th, I'm going to assume. And now Kim's telling me her birthday. And y'all finna start uh y'all gonna have to email me your birthdays okay it's march 1st so email me your birthdays and then i'll make a birthday list if you want a birthday shout out at the beginning of the month how about that we'll do that i'll start a birthday list because it is i would like to recognize you all because you all uh sometimes recognize my birthday so i appreciate that um I 
I feel honored, Eric, that you will spend your birthday with us. That's from Mary. <laughs> um, trying to see what else is in here. Um, and um, Uppity Bobbin says, I'm shaking my head yes as you are speaking about your friend who has an MSN. Nita says, you are so right. We need human contact. When you are secluded for long periods, funny things happen to your thought process. Exactly. And I remember, you know, like when this pandemic first started, that was all that was on the news. We didn't get any other type of news going on. Uh, people, especially when they went into lockdown, uh, people weren't going anywhere. So nobody was getting killed or nobody was getting robbed because everything was closed, shut down, people in the house. So... Um, we were all being fed negativity into the brain, and after a while, that stuff starts to take over your life, so. But, yeah. Uh, how many birthdays have you had, Eric? I say, that deserves carrot cake. <laughs> T, I just sent you money for tequila sunrise. Okay, I'll get that in the mail tomorrow, because I got to mail some other packages as well. Um... I'm, I just missed, so, uh, Susan says, I have a 90-something dear friend quilter. She tells me she needs something. I take it to her, love her dearly. Yes, we got to make sure that they're okay. Uh, Ellen says, T, I wants to come to Missouri. I wants to see Missouri Star Quilt Company, one of my dreams. Now, Missouri Star Quilt Company is five hours away from me. <laughs> I'm in uh, St. Louis area, and Missouri Star is close to Kansas City. They clear across the state. That's a five-hour drive just about. Um, Pooh Gal says, hi, T and everyone. I got your email. Thanks. Nice weather today in Maryland. Yes. Um, let's see. Kathleen says, over 50 homes gone in one area and right in the middle of both fires. Everyone evacuated uh, from both. Just pray all we can do. Yes. I didn't know it was that bad because... I have taken myself off of the news because it was it was messing with me mentally, so I had to step away. The only news I get now is what my husband brings to me verbally. Um, I just had to step away from all of that. And Ellie says, I didn't know I could send it while I was on live with you. My husband said that it wouldn't knock me off laughing, laughing out loud. That's funny. Uh, Mike's here. Hi, Mike. He says, hi, pretty girl. Miss you. And Abby has a backpack for a week at Auntie's. No, she don't. <laughs> Abby is very cute uh, puppy, big dog puppy. <laughs> and Abby's got big poop. <laughs> Not in my yard. <laughs> Suzette says, T, will you show us how to do the pineapple block, please? Thank you. I, I think I've mentioned that before. Uh, I got videos that are showing you how to make it. So go back to April. I show you how I cut, how I sewed each step in April on this quilt right here. So it's like, I don't know. If you just go back to April it's a, it's, and look for the dates on Saturday only for live chat. It had to be the first live chat that we did because I didn't even, ha I had to make a project to do the live sewing chat with. So Go back in April and check. You'll get all the information you need in that video, that very first one. Um, let's see. I'm trying to make sure that I'm trying to skip comments where people are talking to other people. And... Uh, And Eric talking about Missouri Star Quilt Company that he's booking a flight for next March. Anyone want to tag along? Um, Diane says, laughing out loud, did that once, T. Screws would not go back in. <laughs> it wasn't even that they wouldn't go back in. I ain't even try. I'm like, they got to take it apart. <laughs> Let them, I'm helping them out. <laughs> that is too funny. T, I mean heavy duty, exact like, T, I mean heavy duty, etc. I make handbags too. So no, those machines are not made to take heavy duty threads. No, they're not. 
Um, Winfrey says, I ordered a pineapple ruler from AliExpress, and I've been waiting months now. Oh, my gosh. And I'm thinking, like, AliExpress is one where you had to wait three to four weeks anyway to get something. So if it's pandemic time and the USA is letting their stuff sit so it, it quarantines, it could be three months or so before you get something from AliExpress. Um, my birthday is in March. Yeah, because they are not even open right now, uh, Missouri Store Quote Company. Um, they only doing them uh, mail orders. And then they're also working on getting the Nancy's Notions division that they just recently acquired set up. So that's what I heard about uh, Missouri Star Quilt Company. So maybe Eric's got something that he's doing with their reopening in March. Maybe we all should go. Hmm. Want to tell us something, Eric? <laughs> Mike says, my birthday is March 13th. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to write his down because I don't think he knows my, um, I don't think Mike knows my email address. has really has big ears. He said that I should uh, tell you that I got another PP, no, PE770 and it was free from a friend that just didn't want it anymore since she had three new embroidery machines. Wow. Now that's an awesome gift. That's nice. So we need a pineapple ruler. <laughs> uh, not necessarily if you got a die cutting machine tree lady says i agree with the birthday shout out list so anybody that want me to do shout outs for your birthday months just send it to me in emails and i'll try to compile a list so i think that's a great idea miss t i just went to the mailbox i received my quilt that was fast it was supposed to come until yes tomorrow can't wait to open it. It arrived a day early. Exactly what she says. Okay. Pretty cool. And Teresa says that she turned 60 this year. Uh, and I had a big year too that I can't I canceled. I also had a small birthday dinner out because I hadn't even been eating out. And uh unless I was with Kevin, Kevin's pulled me into the restaurants. <laughs> but um yeah, and I canceled because it kept getting bigger and bigger. And I go, I'm not doing that. Do it, T. I was going to do that, too. It's the same. Everyone does it with mines. It's good to know. Everyone's as well. Mines is November 4th. Okay, write that down. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Y'all email me so I'm not writing all these dates down, okay? People that got my email, please email me your birthday. And Mike doesn't have it. I'm, I'm done writing dates. Uh, he's not, Mike's not a quilter. He's just a friend at supporting T quilts. <laughs> and Kathleen's saying, I'm the day, I'm a day after September 11th. So far, called and well said, I reckon it isn't fun to think about your birthday, but we celebrate the good and the survivors. Um... Customs is trouble. You just have to hope you get stuff. You got that right. Because um, I know when I sent stuff. Did you ever get my packages, uh, Lenora, sent to you? Because I've sent you two packages. I don't know if you've gotten them or not. Because once I do international mail, the tracking is only for USA only. And then once it leaves our country, our postal service doesn't get anything back from other countries telling them what's going on with your package. Uh, Tiffany says, I always remember yours, T, July 28th, same as my son, Cyrus, also known as CJ. <laughs> my puppy is in Missouri. Your puppy is in Missouri. What are you talking about, Diane? Or are you talking about your pappy? Not puppy. <laughs> T, 
can arrange a retreat for us. Eric, just saying. I can arrange a retreat, but I don't know if they're going to be retreating. And I don't know if I'm going to be ready to retreat. I'm, I'm trying to wait on retreats to see how this winter goes. So I don't want to sign any contracts. I don't want to give people my money. <laughs> and then I don't give my money back. I know a lot of people had a lot of events. Like I do line dancing as well. And a lot of my friends had line dancing events booked out and they haven't gotten any money back from the stuff that hasn't happened so i'm trying not to do that all that i was able to keep was 25 dollars from the tea quilters that we, when we didn't have our retreat and i used what i kept to to secure our spot for two years i didn't even schedule it for next year i just did two years and winfrey says i know i will give my orders from you when it reach i will let you know so she hasn't gotten them okay so that's what i was worried about because i sent lenora two packages um had to be i'm thinking over six weeks well she ordered a press so i sent her that set in J july the end of july but i also sent her another package with a pineapple pattern and I sent that a long time ago. It had to be early part of July, and she still hasn't gotten it, so it's been over a month. So, and then some countries are saying they don't want stuff from the USA, so they letting it sit because our numbers are so high as a country, you know. And I don't know why I'm still on here talking to you all at um, 819, <laughs> but I am. <laughs> Um, uh, and Sarah saying, okay, everyone, just saying my birthday is January 11th, and I will be the big 60, just saying, laughing out loud. That's nice. Um, but email me, guys, your birthdays, tquilts at tquilts.com, and then I'll make a list. And then, like, even in our Zoom meetings, we can also announce them there. And then I can do, in one of our live chats, the first live chat of the month, I'll also give birthday shout-outs. And Diane saying that she also had to get away from news because she felt like screaming. Yes, it was it was putting me in a, a black hole. And I don't sleep for, like, six hours a day anyway. And when I was getting all this horrible news, it was like I couldn't sleep at all. Like, I just can't do it. Thank you, saying I love the pineapple quilt from Uppity Bobbin. So, c Rack's birthday is this um, Saturday, the 22nd. So, happy birthday to you. Appreciate that. We can You can celebrate with Eric on, in the Zoom meeting. If you're looking for the link for the Zoom meetings, it's in the Facebook group. It's actually a pinned post at the top telling you what the meeting ID is and the link to the meeting. <laughs> Eric says, yeah, there is something big going on in March and MS. Uh, Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I will be there. I knew it because I know it's got something to do with the Nancy's Notions things, but I kind of knew it because he's got the N on them, so that's pretty cool. So Eric said he's going to be 43. Regina says, T, the quilting was beautiful. Love, love the design we picked. I am so glad you love it, and uh, I hope you... Get it bound, girl, and show it to everybody. It is really pretty. I just love your coloring in that quilt. And she said that it was one of her old quilts that she just had in her stash just sitting there. But it is so pretty. It's so soothing to look at. Um, da -da -da -da. Arlene says, good night, everybody watching the DNC. Have a blessed night. And I want to watch a little bit of that, too. Um, especially when it starts getting closer to the end, they have the better ones. Come on, at the end. <laughs> I was um, wondering why Diane Puppy was in Missouri. <laughs> That's from Eric. Angela says, Good evening, TNT quilters. Good night. 
She says, no, I'm here waiting, and when I will get it, I will let you know. Well, thank you, Lenora. Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to go through just to make sure. <laughs> so we have to wait for a, re a minute on retreats. We can do this. We got tea on Wednesday. That's right. Judy says, T, I mailed you a birthday card on July 20th, and you never got it. Sorry. I'm so sorry about that, and that's why I quit. I had started out the year sending everybody birthday cards and they were coming like a month afterwards and so I just quit I have not sent birthday cards what I have been sending is sympathy cards and uh, people that are saying like the elderly that can't get visits if somebody is asking in any of my groups that I'm in and make cards or if any of my friends request I send them to their mothers or fathers or you know, elderly that they are close to that are missing people contact. So I have not been sending birthday cards anymore because they're not arriving on time. So I do understand, Judy, and I appreciate it. I'm sorry that it never got here. And I remember you telling me that you were going to mail it in one of the chats, but I, I didn't get it. I checked the mailbox every day to make sure that it wasn't, th uh, that it didn't come, you know, that it was there and it never came is what I mean. Alan says, I'm saying good night, everyone. I have to open up business for a friend at 6 a.m. Good night and stay very safe out there. Thank you, Ellen. Bye-bye. Okay, serious question. Has anyone heard if IQF will do something virtual in November? I know they canceled the show. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to participate in any virtual cool shows that I have to pay for, though. I don't know. It just seems like a bit much. And then my I have a like I have so much going on, I guess because I run a business, that when I'm on the computer and I'm even watching like other YouTube videos on other topics or things that I follow, they never have my 100 percent total attention. So I'm always multitasking and doing stuff. So I don't want to pay for something where I'm uh probably not gonna give it my 100 percent attention, like if I was at a quilt cool show live. See, there is a thing at the left of you that look like a cattail waving back and forward. Do you have a cat laughing out loud? <laughs> oh, she talking about this yellow? No. I thought it was this yellow. <laughs> this is my I had a quarter ruler. It's something yellow. It must be back here. It's fabric. Is it fabric? Oh, that's... And then this right here. She's talking about in the drawer. This right here is filthy fabric. This is one of those little scraps I had of the filthy um, stuff. So, uh, I'm just keeping every scrap. <laughs> so, that's what it is. Um, uh, tips reminding people don't forget to do the thumbs up and if you want birthday shout outs email t at tquilts at tquilts.com thank you and she took a space out just so my email address wouldn't be accessible to the spammers so she just took that space out so it won't automatically record my email uh, Leela says, T, what was the free promotion from AccuQuilt that's coming up? It's the Cleopatra die when you spend $250. So I think I had waited to do an order so that I could um, get that die free. And I didn't see anybody have any AccuQuilt dies they wanted to do a sew along with or do in the sewing chats. So I guess I'll just <laughs> figure out what I want to get and uh, I'll just probably buy some studio dies and then I don't know if I can buy the studio dies and get the go die free. I don't know. I have to see if they say you have to buy go dies or do they have to be what or just spend two hundred fifty anywhere? Because I prefer studio dies. <laughs> I got it, guys. They were telling me it's down in my basket. That's just because the fan is blowing too. So, and this is my mask basket. So everything in here is dealing with masks. I got my 
pipe cleaners, filthy fabrics, fabrics in here if I want to do a quick one for somebody that needs one. So I try to ignore that drawer. <laughs> ah. mm -mm. And Susan says, look like two cats. <laughs> You're welcome, C-Rex. Uh, Mary's uh, talking to Eric. Kevin, the quilters here says, hey, TNT quilters, enjoy the evening on the patio of my friend's place in Renton, Washington. Hi, Kevin. And we're going to be getting off here. He was probably surprised we're still on here. And Eric says that the Cleopatra block is on my quilting bucket list. Lots of courage. Yes, it is. But I was trying to figure out. You know, if I'll get it if it's free, so then if I don't use it, it's okay. But if I get somebody that want to sew it with me, I wouldn't mind, like, doing a sew along with it. <laughs> and y'all are too funny. Oh, my gosh. She says it's snowing ash here. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So... Okay, so we're going to go ahead and end here. I just wanted to make sure I got the majority of the comments. I know I didn't read them all. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. You all please be safe. And God bless everybody. And don't forget to send up prayers for Shari and her family, for Katrina and Cliff. Just pray for them. They're, you know, they're in a stressful time right now. Um, they also have the stress of it being a pandemic and their loved one is in the hospital. So just keep them in your prayers, everybody. <laughs> and Kevin goes, which studio dies are we getting? I have no idea, <laughs> but I got to figure it out by August 22nd. Uh, so good night, everybody. Just trying to make sure cause I see, um, comments coming up again. Um, but See you all next time. Good night. <laughs> ah, it's about to fall. <laughs>